Well, that's it. Bye bye, Flangoflin Basin. It's been amazing. We had a lovely day yesterday. Uh, watching the kids unwrapping the presents and everything. It was magical, and what a brilliant bunch of boaters we got there. Um, had a great time, and I think we may like to go back there next Christmas. As you can see, uh, Nikki's on the tiller. The sun is quite blinding, and me with plastic eyes, uh, it's no good. But uh, we're making our way slowly. I can see where I'm going. Well, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> But we're on our way today to Chirk, and I'll tell you why in a bit. Well, we're just coming up now to a beautiful house. I think if you'd have seen many vlogs from Flangothlin, you'll recognise Siamba Wen, a beautiful house built in the 18th century. And it's just coming into view now. The Gothic front was built on in the year 1800. And it's the former home of a gentleman called Alexander Reed. He actually moved to Atlanticilio Hall uh, from this beautiful house. But why you'd want to leave it, I do not know. But he was the former owner of the Manera Mining Company. Oh, we're sad to say goodbye to Flangothlin. But it really has been amazing. Well, Nikki's on her way. Uh, I've just dropped her off. We're at the first Narrows that we've got to do today. Um, there's two. Uh, this is the longer one, but uh, I doubt very much we'll see anyone. But uh, knowing our luck, as soon as we went in, uh, we're bound to come nose to nose with another one. So uh, she's gone off with a walkie talkie. It's beautiful, but we are sad to leave Flangothlin. Well that's it, I've had the all clear from Nikki, so I'm going through the first narrows and she's walking on to the second one just to save us a bit of time. But we've got a beautiful day for this cruise today. Hopefully about a three and a half hour cruise, something like that. But we're we're taking with us some beautiful memories of Flangothan. Fantastic. A week or two ago, our friend James picked all of us up and we went to the Horseshoe Pass, which is quite a famous road up here. Um, unfortunately, it's quite a dangerous road as well, but there was snow up there and a lovely cafe called the Ponderosa. So we all went up there, had a bit of fun in the snow, uh, had a bit of breakfast there in the Ponderosa Cafe as well, which was very nice. And then we dropped down to the old abbey there, Valcrucius, I think it's called. Uh, the Abbey had a lovely wander round there. Now that is definitely worth a visit. Uh, so much of it remains. It's just a breathtaking place. Really, really nice. And those that watch the channel will know I love my history. And I really enjoyed that. And sometimes it's nice to get away from the boat. Well, that's it. There's no boats coming because Nikki would have let me know. So we're out of the first narrows and we're on our way to the second one. Oh, it's a beautiful day today and today, of course, is Boxing Day. So we don't expect to see many boats moving. Oh, it's just been wonderful, honestly, folks. Absolutely wonderful.
and a few days before Christmas was magical too because I got to meet up with Amy, Matt and my lovely little grandson George. We all met them at the station, they went on the Santa Express so we met them there. So it was nice to see them and have a catch up. And that's the reason why we're going to Chirk. Um, Amy's going to pick us all up, get us all in the car and we're all going to Amy's house for the day. So it'll be great to spend another day with them uh, as we have quite a large adventure planned for us next year. And uh, it might be a while before I'll see them again. So um, a bittersweet day coming up on Wednesday, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, they're picking us up from Chirk. Can't wait. And we had a magical Christmas day, I've got to say. Very quiet, very much a family time. Uh, we did forego narrowboating. I don't know whether you watched that, but that was at 10 o'clock on Christmas morning. We were on for about an hour or so. If you didn't see it, I'll leave a link. Uh, usual mayhem. It was a good laugh. Uh, really enjoyed that, and we do like to do that. Um, obviously, a lot of people have Christmas on their own. Um, and it's not always through choice. So it's nice to have a, a bit of a laugh on Christmas morning and we enjoyed that. And then uh, we set the table and had a beautiful Christmas dinner. Uh, just the four of us and the doggies, of course. Uh, a magical day, a lovely day. And on Christmas Eve, obviously the day before, uh, we all sat down and watched Santa Claus the movie, all sat on the sofa. So we have had a magical Christmas. I have to say it's been, well, one of the best Christmases I think I can remember since I was a kid. It's just been absolutely magical. Many more to come. Nicky's just informed me there's a boat coming through the second narrow, so I'm just on tick over. Just come on the bridge 43W back there. So uh, no rush for me to get there because I can't go anywhere until that boat's come through. But then we're all clear. All clear then down to Trevor. And then we're going to do a sharp right and go over the Pont Casilti again. Uh, we have been, uh, we, we did leave the basin since you've seen it. We've been away a couple of times. Um, so we travelled over the Ponty quite a few times. Every day though, it's been very, very windy, so it hasn't really been ideal to film. It looks nice and bright today, but there is a bit of a breeze blowing. Narrows are clear, darling. Narrows are clear after that boat. That's great. may be able to see that blue boat coming around the corner up there that's the start of the narrows that right hand bend there so he's got a rather tight left hand bend for him to negotiate and then we've got to go a right but it's all clear
Look at the River Dee down there. Isn't it beautiful? I can just see Nikki now waiting in the bridge, y'all. So, uh, yeah, good idea to pick her up, methinks. That's it, Nikki's back on board. She's gonna make me some porridge, bless her. But we're on our way now down to Trevor. Uh, just going past the Sun Inn, which is just up there at Trevor. We're going down to Trevor Basin, and then as I say, it's a hard ride. Uh, Nikki just got on board. Not upset, but we're very sad uh, to say goodbye to Flangothan. Um, I've always said the Shropshire Union was my favorite canal, and it's still right up there. But I've got to say this trip, uh, with Nikki and the kids has been the most memorable time I've spent on the waterways and the Flangothan Canal has, has been amazing. There's no other word, I keep saying that word but it really has. It's probably up there as one of the best. Go duck, go! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Woohoo! I need to swim! You going in? No, I don't blame him. You get your bum wet. Beautiful. This is great being a passenger. Nikki's on the tiller again. She just made me some lovely porridge, so I've just had me dinner. You're braver than me. <laughs> Have fun, mate. I don't know whether you can see them behind, but great to see. It's Boxing Day and two hire boats. Loads of people enjoying themselves. It's great to see. Love to see hire boats out and people enjoying themselves. It helps keep our license fee down and uh, puts a lot of money as well into the canals. And a lot of these hire boat crews are very experienced. They can hire boats two or three times a year, if not more. I know one of my friends, uh, Stu, um, he's always on an hour boat. He always seems like he's on it. And James, of course, our dear friend James. But yeah, that was nice to see on Boxing Day. Lovely. Nikki's just put some more coal on the fire, so a bit more smoke coming out the chimney. Uh, we've actually got three kids on board yet, yeah, Lily and Noah, and their little friend Jack. We met Jack uh, early last year um, 
first at uh, Plank Lane up by Lee on the Leeds Liverpool and they made friends there and we have sort of bumped into them uh, Jack lives on a boat by the way uh, we have bumped into them a few times this year and they were actually moored up in the basin there so they've been playing and having great fun so um, yeah they're getting picked up well Jack's getting picked up when we moor up a little bit later on in church they might as well have a bit of fun eh but we've got to keep them warm and we're just coming towards Trevor Basin now where we're going to do a sharp 90 degree turn to the right and go over the mighty Pont Silty again darling hey again again how many times is it now about five 